Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today is a chill day. I had a couple of glasses of wine yesterday. Then I could have just a little chill chat with you guys and uh, do my makeup and get ready. So, uh, that's what we're gonna do. Anyway, let's get started. So before I do anything to my face, I used my little face oil. I've used these for ages. They're from Naked and Thriving. I worked with them last year and they sent me, I think, five or six different face oils. Um, so you could say that I am all set in terms of face oils. Anyway, I'm just sitting inside today. Other than that, I would also have applied a little bit of sun protection. So for sun protection, I either use this one from Amazing or I use this one from Rain. I think it's the first time I've mentioned SPF. Other than that, I, I do it. I just never really mentioned it in the video. People scream at me in the comments when I don't do it. So there we are. So I don't do foundation, but I do concealer just around my eyes, under my nose, on my chin, and a little bit on my uh, forehead, like in between my brows, just a few spots. And the concealers I'm using are these ones. Um, don't yell at me. I know these are the concealers from Lush, but they don't look anything like themselves because I don't have anything left. There we go. But she's a zero waste girl. I'm using the last bits. Um, did you know that 70% of all cosmetics are discarded off before the product is finished? And then I have a little brush. I'm gonna wet this, by the way. One second. I've applied a little bit of water to my brush and I'm gonna use that to sort of make sure it's blended out. And I am no professional when it comes to cosmetics. I've just found things that kind of works for me. I think that's where I sort of end up. I like looking nice. I like applying my makeup. I like the ritual of that, but I could not care less about the proper way of doing things. I do like a little bronzer. I'm gonna get to that. Recently, I got a comment saying that, Did you, didn't you know that bronzing is out? I don't know. Kiddos, I'm old. I don't know what's trendy anymore. But also, I don't care what's trendy. That's why there are lots of things in my routine that hasn't changed at all. I feel like these are too old, but they still work fine. So, I don't know what to tell you. And the face powder I'm using is from Sao. Uh, also hitting pan on this one real bad. And the cool thing about these packagings is they're refillable. I have a blush uh, from a different company. This is from Elate, and it's the same um, basically the same packaging, which means that you can use this packaging for other brands and other types of products. Um, so just a little bit of powder to get like a little bit more matte finish. Now getting to the part where I am hopelessly off trend, but we're gonna do a little bit of bronzer. I like it. Anyway, this is the bronzer. This is also from Sao. As you can see, my dumb, dumb fingernails just went in at one point. I don't know how that happened. So we're just gonna apply it generously. I'm gonna take it all the way up to my temples. I don't know what it is with these videos, but whenever I do any kind of beauty, makeup, um, now this is not the thing I'm most passionate about, but I like how you just get to sit and talk while I do my makeup, I think it's fun. But I don't know what it is about these types of videos. I get so many people correcting me and saying they would have done things differently, etc. And I, I just, I don't think it's that deep. Now getting to the blush, this is from Elate. Should I tell you the names of things? And um, because it doesn't say, but it looks like this. Nailed it. And the blush is called Titian. Propped up a mirror, but I'm just using the monitor in the camera at this point. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Okay, I also like to do a little bit of highlighter. It just makes me feel really good. And the highlighters I'm using are, we are hitting pan on everything, by the way. Go off. And these ones are from Salt Cosmetics. I really, really like their cream products because they are really versatile. So I use them on my eyes, on my lips, on my cheeks, on my nose. I'm simply just going in with my finger. Is this wrong? I don't know. Getting a fair amount of product on there and just stabbing it on. Okay. I started doing my brows differently not so long ago because I just wanted to do, do it more dramatic eye in another way. And I've gotten so many comments that <laughs> people are happy that I changed my brows because they were so distracting. You're welcome, I'm doing God's work here. Okay, okay, let's do, speaking of the devil, let's do the brows. Um, this is going to sound disgusting, by the way, but this is a safe space, so I can say it. I found this on the ground. Now, I didn't just go home and just went in using it. I filed it down completely, so none of this product, none of this has been touched by another person. Um, I took off about this much. So I think it should be fine, but I found it on the ground and I boiled this bit. Uh, I was just not about 
letting that go to waste also because I was actually looking for a new eyebrow pencil. And I don't know, is that disgusting? Would you do that? Would you pick up cosmetics like that from the street? And where do you draw the line? Obviously I wouldn't do it with mascara, uh, but would you do it with an eyebrow pencil? Would you do it with lipstick? Ooh. Because like I also pick up hair ties and put them in my freezer, boil them, etc. Anyway, another thing, I recently got really tired of using the Zero Waste mascaras. <sighs> like really tired. Also, a lot of the good ones that I've seen on the market are not vegan and um, because they have beeswax in them, so trying to stay away from those. Um and just the application, I don't know, I was dreading using it and using the very tough little bristles on my eyes is not amazing for me. The sensory experience of that, I've lived with it for many years, I was just over it. So I got a new mascara in a plastic container, not ideal, this is where we are. But I did research the brand, they had a vegan formula, if they're cruelty free, and if they're generally doing things that are above the minimum level, which they do. This is from Anna Marie Berlin. It's a German brand, um, it's pretty good and I recommend and it gives me a lot more volume. I've been in the game for so long that I cave now and then. Same with the nails. I'm caving. I've done this for seven years. I still think the same things. It's just that it's very hard to keep going at the same level with the same speed, same motivation all the time. So you can see it as though I'm taking a break from two different beauty related zero waste things. There we are. Okay, just cleaning up. Anyway, one of the things I've been really hesitant about trying out or just experimenting with is nail things because nail polish and gels and what other products are there, I'm not a nail technician so I don't know the proper terms, but all the nail covering products, nail decor, nail polish basically, um, they are made from different types of polymers that can break down into microplastics. There are formulas that are better than average but it's really difficult to acquire this result without using synthetic polymers and that's been something in the back of my head constantly regarding this type of thing. Another thing is sort of just the visual of it which has been something I've really struggled with because when people hear me talk about sustainability and they see my nails they instantly go to well what's up with your nails then? That can't be sustainable now, can it? And it's a tiny thing. It is a minuscule, ridiculous, tiny little thing compared to the big issues we're facing. So obviously this is not going to ruin the planet ever. Also, this is not something that happens often, but it's something I do to express myself and it makes me feel really good. And it's okay to do things that feel good. The planet is burning, so why the fuck are we talking about things that are sort of nice? It's because it seems completely out of proportion when the planet is burning, but we need nice, neat little things, especially when the planet is burning, in my opinion. But people see this and they instantly use that against me in order to devalue or discredit what I'm saying. And that's really frustrating and it's something that has made me not do my nails for ages and ages. It's sort of the same thing as when you're talking about sustainable food systems and you're talking about the ways that animal agriculture especially is impacting our planet. And then you once in a while have an avocado. Then some people, usually the same people in fact, will have the same reaction to it like, oh, oh, but that's an avocado. That's also bad for the planet. I'm gonna go back to my beef now. It's frustrating and it's whataboutism at its finest, but I'm just not about letting that ruin my day altogether. I hope at least a lot of people can hear the value in talking about sustainable systemic structural change from someone who wears nail polish. <sighs> Is it just me or do you have Taylor Swift's would I get there quicker if I was a man? my brain all the time. Just by the way, talking about these things, I'll be giving a lecture in Ulmse on the 2nd of September about femininity and sustainability, where we'll go over some of these topics. And also about how the fact that overconsumption and the consumer patterns that comes with overconsumption are pushed and advertised towards women, especially in many different fields and in many different industries. But I'm also going to talk about how to express your femininity in this type of field and how dangerous and demotivating and frustrating that can be. I haven't done this lecture before, it's going to be the first time I do it, but I think it's something I want to talk more about. So at least that's what I'm going to do in a couple of weeks and I'm very excited about it. And I will be showing up with my red nails, sort of, 
and I've talked about this with makeup a million times on this channel as well, that some people discredit me because I wear makeup and I talk about sustainability. And this is not me sounding like a victim, it's just me stating an obvious fact, I guess, but you wouldn't hold men to this level of scrutiny. Very rarely, I guess. So, anyway, let's do lipstick. <laughs> Okay, where are we? Oh, let's do the classic one. There we go. This I didn't find on the street. It's also from Anna Marie Borland. Um, and I love the pencil things. I have many pencils. I also I also have pencil lipsticks. I do my pencil eyeliner. It's a very neat product that's often very minimally packaged, which I love. And I have been obsessed with a very 90s lip recently. Today, though, I think I might do red. Uh because it's gonna look good with the nail. We're just lining. I wish I had a red lip liner. But during the last couple of days, I've done this pinkish rose rouge color on my lip lining. And then I've used a more brownish tone on the inside. It looks very 90s and I love it. Anyway, just a little bit of liner. And then we're just gonna go in. I love this. It's from Beauty Made Easy. I also have a pink one. And I love these. I might actually get more colors because this is so neat. Whenever you have to unwrap more of your product but it's very minimally packaged and no plastic which we love to see aha the application just absolutely recklessly applying this lipstick now i love this hair what is life anyway we're basically done with the look i that that, that, that was it that was the that was the whole thing wearing red lipstick casually while you just do your chores and dishes. Anyway, that was my get ready with me routine. I hope you guys like this video. If you did, let me know. Um, oh, don't. Ooh, no, 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 no. Have one last thing. But don't mind me. I have this Elaid balm. Yeah, don't mind me. I'm, I'm a messy girl. But we're just gonna apply a little bit of balm on top to sort of make it... I feel like that makes a world of a difference. So, anyway, that was it. Now I'm done. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys liked this video. If you're interested about the impact of cosmetics, I've left my impact analysis down below. Go and check that out. I also mention my care, mining and wastefulness. All the kind of stuff related to the beauty industry is in that video. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day and take really good care of yourselves. Until next time. Bye. Thank you so much for watching this video and also a special thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys help me create green zero waste contents and I love you guys. You can find the links to my social media accounts down below and the link to my Patreon on this screen. Bye!